As we're walking off the mat, I smack him on the butt. That's the most disrespectful thing you can do. Ian, he was on a trajectory upward. He was very gifted athletically. He had potential to be an NCAA champ. He just was unstoppable. Very rarely did we come home without a trophy. You place at Fargo, it's like you're on a whole different path. I mean, he was a number one seed. He was at his peak. I was feeling in the best shape of my life. When it happened, I knew that it was bad. I remember everything. I remember laying on my back and all I could do was blink. Nobody knew what to do. They rushed me in, high risk patient, and they needed to figure out what's wrong. It was a life or death surgery, it had to be done. It was very hard to see him like that. And I said, I know you're really mad at wrestling because it got you where you're at. But I said, wrestling's gonna save your life. I gotta find a way to advance my life. I knew I wasn't gonna do that, sitting around and feeling sorry for myself. I've never seen a harder worker, never seen a more dedicated kid. You're on his train or you're not. You're like a knock on the door. Who opens the door but Kale Sanderson? Everything that happened, happened for a reason. It's part of my story.